All right, so now that we're back at the shop, we yep. are going to show you how to cut down those box cushions for the back cushions box, yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what the first thing we did is we took the measurements that were the easiest. You know, we didn't trace all of them, no. uh, the, that is the back cushions, because we don't need to. We have the measurements. For example, we didn't trace the middle ones because those are just straight up, straight down, right. you know, squares, what have you. So this here, like, well, the, the one of them was um, 31 and a half. Right. Okay. By 21? Yeah, we're going to, well, no, by 20. By 20. Because we decided that the 20 height... This is a weird sofa, by the way. The cushions were all different. Well, two were the same. No. Two, we had two pairs. Two pairs that were the same. 31 and a half and 24 were the same. We had two of those cushions. And then you had one that was 26, which was in the corner. Which, that sounds okay, right? right. But the, the what we call a half T or a bull nose, whatever, where it does this and goes over the arm. So when right. you're relaxing, you know, the pillow goes around there, or the back cushion, rather. Uh, that was 31 and a half on this sofa. On one of them, and uh -huh. then over here was 26. I've never seen 24. that before. Was it 24? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, 24. Yeah. So the numbers got really screwy. So hopefully you're not dealing with that. They should be interchangeable. Right. Well, obviously they're not. So you know what stinks about that real quick is the 31 and a half, half T, or bull nose, okay, can't be flipped. Right. It can't go on the other side because that's the only way you can flip it. You're not going to have the half T pushing up against the other cushion. No. So, it's not going to work. No. So... Back to the cushions to change your detachable or uh, um, detached back cushions to a removable back cushion. We're going to sh we're going to continue and show you how. Uh, what we did is we took the center ones that were just uh, rectangles, and uh, one of them was a 31 and a half right. finished. Okay, we decided 20 high was good. Right. So all we did is you take your top fabric. You don't need a template for that, unless for some reason you want to. And grab that tape measure there. Yes, sir. And the bottom here, we cut 32, 32 and a half. I'm a little short, but that's all right. 32 and a half, and that's 32 and a half there. Right. Okay. Um, and in the center, we added a little bit more for the crown. I'll show you that, yeah. You before. So then we came up 21. So what that does is half inch seam allowance, half inch seam allowance. Right. And, and we're going to cut the bands out. We didn't. We didn't make any bands uh, yet, but we're going to put bands in there so it will be what they call a box cushion. Okay. Right. Now what Graham was just now saying is what you do is you go up your 20, you, you get enough fabric, more than you need, okay, and you um, you go up 21 and an inch, 21 and a half, put a pin, put a pin there, and put a pin down here, and then you would find your center here, which would be 10 and a half. Right. So because that's half of 21 and a half. So right now we have 21, right? And then we have 10 and a half. That's the center of the 21. Right. And obviously it's going to be duplicated here. You do the same here, whatever your measurement is. You get in a center here, okay? And the bottom doesn't make a difference. You don't need to put what I'm about to tell you there at the bottom, okay? So then what you do is you have a stick pen or a small little pen pencil mark, okay, here and here, okay? If your table can take a, a stick pen, then just... Ours can. It has, like, carpet padding underneath. Right, exactly. Um, then you take a straight edge like this mm -hmm. here, and you know where your center is, and you come out three eighths of an inch. Right. So, for example, let's just say real quick, you have a pin here, you have a pin here, you have it lined up, and then what you do is, you, as he just showed, come out three eighths of an inch. Three eighths of an inch. Put another pin right in center, right. and take out the other pin that you have in the center because you don't want to get confused. Yes. When you yeah, mark. take that one out, and then that's an excellent advice. And then make your mark here. Okay, right. so what you're doing is you're coming out like this, and you do that for the crown. Okay, years and years and years ago, I made a mistake and didn't do this, and I was making these cushions for an outdoor uh, cushion furniture set, and they looked great, but there was a problem. If you don't make this this curve, just about three eighths of an inch. Okay, I don't know if you should do any more than that, but that's what we do is three eighths. If you want to go ahead, you have a gap when those back cushions were together. There's, there's a little a gap. gap in the middle because they're getting pulled in when you stuff in the right. filling. So this is the back of the seat cushion. Uh, this is the back cushion, the back of it, okay? And here's the front of the cushion, okay? When you fill this out, these come in. Right. So that, the sides come in. The sides come in, and that's a problem. So then I had the gaps. So that, that should help eliminate or reduce any gapage that, that you might have. So that, that's what you got to do. The bottom, I didn't do that. You could curve this if you wanted to, if you have a high crown on a seat. Right. You could put a little bit of uh, 
you know, curve right here, and that'll help hug the so, uh, seat cushion. Okay. So the main reason why you didn't put it on the bottom is because you don't want the middle to elevate the ends at it, all. It would come it, well if if I put a crown part here, then it's going to go up higher. Okay. You know, and it's just not worth it. So all you got to do, uh, you got to do three quarters of an inch here or three eighths. Of three an eighths inch. out. Three eighths. Three eighths. Bottom leave alone. Right. So what we have here is cut, not finished, is 32 and a half. So it's going to be 31 and a half when it's finished. But in the center, we have 33. So it comes out a little bit. Yeah. Okay? All right. So that we did that with the larger cushion, that rectangle, and we had a smaller one right. that sits on the other sofa next to its half T or bullnose cushion. Okay? As you can tell, it is smaller, and this is the 24, one of the 24-inch ones. Right. So obviously this should be... 25 and it is, and then in the center here we're coming up um, 25 and three quarters. Okay, so should be should be okay. That one's a little short, but it doesn't matter. It'll still be fine. All right, excellent. So now we got to move on to the pattern parts, and it gets a little more confusing with that if you're not already confused. Right. Fun, right? All right. So as we said, we have the template for the half T. This is a large one already laid out. This is the 31 and a half finish size. And we're going to show you how to add the seam allowance as well as the bow of right. 3 8 inch. Correct. Okay, so this is, uh, as Grant said, it's a large one. This is what we did back at the client's house. Mm -hmm. Here's the bottom. There's the sides there. And we're going to take a square and we're going to go like that. Here's the pencil. From our line, and this represents the cushion. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make a straight line up. That. Okay. Now we need these to be finished the height 20 inches. So we need to add a half inch at the bottom and a half inch at the top. Right. So except actually not at the bottom because we're only going to do it at the top. Oh, the yes, you're right. Yeah, half, half inch, inch at the bottom. I'm sorry. I was thinking of the three eighths the balloon. No, not the, not yet. Yeah. It gets a little confusing. Yeah. As you can tell, I already am. <laughs> well, it's right, easy so to get lost. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go 20 and a half from our line that was made on top of the cushion. All right, perfect. Can you make okay. a mark right there, please? Got it. Okay, now we're going to go a half inch down here. Yep. And let me grab a little pencil real quick. And I'm going to the blue line here from the cushion, and I'm going to make mine 20 and a half to match his. And that is right. This thing's hard to see. All right. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to make the... Uh, line for the top. I'm there. Yep. Now this includes the half inch. This does. I'm going to go past the cushion just to make sure we have plenty. Right, so that's a half inch for the seam allowance. Right at the top. That looks nice and dark. I already did a half inch at the bottom. And then we'll make one there. And can you go ahead and mark that for me please? Mm -hmm. Now if your bottom of the uh, cushion here is is kind of distorted or it gets real thick or kind of you know uh, faded in one area as that happens to me all the time then you can make a clean new line. But you can still see your line, it's just not very straight or clean. Right, before you do the half inch. Before you do the half inch, thank you. Um, there. As, you got it? I got it here. And as well, if, you're, if your seat cushion you're working with has a high crown, you can taper the ends down a little bit. Uh, kind of like, a, I, guess, I don't know, dog ear or something. Like bring them down just a little bit to wrap around the cushion. This one's pretty flat, so we're just going to leave it alone. That way you don't have any gaps on the edges, I believe, correct? Yeah. Or the corners. You don't really need to do it, but, no. you know, sometimes it's necessary. All right, so right now, let's recap. we got a half-inch seam allowance for the top. We have a half-inch seam allowance for the bottom. Now we need to do a half-inch seam allowance for the side, because mm -hmm. all we did is just straighten out that line. Right. This is actually where the cushion ends on that seat cushion. Well, if we sew this, it would be too short. Right. And that's where it ends, too, on the half T. Right. Okay? So this should measure, the pencil line and pencil line should be 21, and it, it is. is looking great. All right. All right. Sounds good. And now let's go ahead and add a half inch right here. Let's get half this. inch. Got it. Done. Perfect. And there. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm starting to catch on. Let's see right here. And there we go. Very but let's uh, before we keep, keep going, we're going to mark out the other line, which is the finish line. We want to only have the seam allowance line there so you don't get confused. So mark that one out. No, no, it can get confusing. Right. Uh, when we're finished, this is going to have uh, one line over top of it. Mm -hmm. 
This has one at, at the bottom of it, and the sides are going to have three, and we're going to show you why. All right, now, the bowing. now we're going to go ahead and try to do that one right there. All right, I'm going to straighten this up here. And, and, yeah, ahead, there's please. a little trick with what we can do yeah, is um, with this ruler, especially it's clear so it's easy to see, but there's a black line going across uh, on every of the, I think that's like, was at three inches? Like three inches. But even your ruler will have it. Right. So if you have a standard metal ruler, this one's not a good uh, fit. But you know the long ones that we use, the standard ones, they will have a measurement here and a measurement here. But the lines across will be exactly the same. So you can line those lines up with a straight line that you already have on your fabric. So for example, let me line this one up right here. And that should be perpendicular to this yeah. line right here. Yeah. You also, there's another thing real quick, is you could line up the edge of your ruler. Right, because that factory so. should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll line that up. Line I'm going line. against the original mark here. Let's just put it on there. Yeah, there we go. As I talked about it, didn't do it. All right, now that's where the cushion's going to end when it's sewn. Right. That's where it's going to end when it's sewn. The squiggly line, okay? So now we're going to come out we actually have to add a half inch to that. Right. Right. We do. So let's go ahead and add out a half inch. Mm -hmm. Half inch. Done. Okay. Make another line, and I'm going to cross out the first one. Only because that keeps me from running my mouth and then chopping it off. Right. And as I interrupted him, as he said, that is where it's going to end up when sewn. That's fine. We're just doing the uh, half inch out right now. We also need to do the half inch right here, but... Um, you want to jump over and do that? Yep. Let's go ahead and grab this tape measure. Let me get a tape measure. I'm going to do the center mark right here. There. And you can just do little dots real quick around the, um, the contour of the arm where the back goes around the arm. It makes it a lot easier and just connect the dots when you're done. Alright. So another half inch mark. Now while he's making the half inch mark outside there, I'm going to go to the half inch mark side at the bottom of the cushion and in the pencil. And I'm going to go to the top in the pencil, and we're going to I'm going to go to the uh, far furthest line here, and I want the center point. And that's why uh, that's when the three eighths of an inch comes in handy to bow out your cushions to eliminate gaps in between uh, several cushions. Okay, so we're going to go from this end to that end. It's coming up 21. All right. Just what we want, and that's going to be uh, ten and a half. Okay, so I got a mark of ten and a half there. Now measure out three eighths of an inch from that ten and a half. And that's what I just did. Now go to the end of your line where you're going to cut. Okay, the cut line, not the original cushion line. Okay, and I hope they can see that in that mm -hmm. video there. I hope they can. So I'm going just to the end right here and to the 3 8 inch mark. All right. And we can also show it on the top and the sides when we have to do uh, the, the T right here. Right. Or half T. I'm going to mark that out so I don't accidentally talk. And You just remind me i got to mark out mine right here. Knock it out. All right, so that one's good. Now we're, as he already mentioned, he might not have, but we're not going to do it for the bottom, correct? No, no. We're okay. going to do the, th the three eighths you're talking about. Yeah, three eighths. We're going to do three eighths here, three eighths here, and there only. That's you don't it. do it around the turn. You don't do it at the bottom. All right. All right, so let's measure this real quick. And I'll let you handle that. And we've got uh, ten. Mm -hmm. That should be five right there. Half mark. Go out three quarters. Or three eighths. I keep saying that three eighths. All right. There we go. Excellent. Here you want this. Thank you. And right there. Excellent. Okay. And then again, right here. Now we're going to transfer this pattern to the top fabric. We'll show you that in just a moment here. Right, and then we're going to go on with the top and we'll get right back to you. Right, so we're going to do the half part there. All right, let's do it. All right, so as we cut this out, we're just going to recap one more time. We have the uh, original line, which is the finished product. This is what the cushion is supposed to be uh, when it's done and sewn. Now we also went out the half inch, so we have the seam allowance. And finally, we went out a uh, three-eighths 
of an inch on the center of each of these spots. So that's the half T, the top, and also the side. Not the bottom because it's not really needed yeah. since we're going to be against the seat cushion. So again, we did the uh, original measurements, half inch out, three eighths out in the center. And that's about it. All right, then you just transfer this over, which we're going to show you in a minute, to the uh, top fabric. Incidentally, too, just don't forget, if you do accident, well, I didn't tell you yet, so now you do know. Huh? If you do cut a line that you didn't want to, right. just get masking tape and tape it back. Hey, you don't want to sit there and do this thing all over no. again. So if you make a mistake, just tape it back together. It's just a template. Right. Okay, and to be safe, cross out the squiggly or make squiggly lines on the, on the lines that you do not want to cut. Okay, I didn't do it at the bottom, but I, I, I started cutting right away. So it should be good. Um, the this measurement looks good. here should be, th let me see, 32 and a half, 32 and a half. Yeah, it's perfect. You got the end? I got a little bit left over, but that's okay. It'll we'll shave fine. that off. It'll be fine, yeah. yeah. And then we, uh, from line to line, uh, yeah, sure enough, it's um, 21. So and then we have our 3 eighths added. So we're good to go. All right, so like we said, Transfer it to the other one. All right. That's what, that's what we're going to do, meaning to your other pattern, mm -hmm. to your other T if you have to. Um, well, you should. That actually. are identical. Yeah, you should. I know. Isn't that stupid? I know. It's stupid because as we already mentioned this before, but um, this one is 20, 31 and a half, and the other one is 24. So it's, it's completely out of the blue. It's yeah. not really thought through by the manufacturers, and um, that guy should be fired. But... <laughs> No, uh, he we shouldn't. Don't know about that, but it was strange. It was. It was quite strange, and it was strange. All right. It doesn't make our job very pleasant. No. So make a circle. You do. You want one as well, because normally you would put two when they would match. Okay, but this one we just did one. All right. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so now we're going to move in, move on to the corner cushions. Uh, now, if you're just doing a sofa or just a chair, and you wanted to remove that back cushion then you can just move on to cutting your top fabric with that pattern you made. Right. Okay. But uh, this is a sectional, so we need to do corners as well. Multiple cushions. Yes, exactly. So it's the same method. We're going to go, the, the, the next cushion we're going to show you is a little more complicated than this one, so we did the easiest one first here. Right. We're it's going to be finished 26 inches. Right. So we need a half inch here. Half inch here, half inch there, half inch here, and a half inch there. Right. And we're going to still do the bow out, but the difference between this one is this is where the cushion is going to meet the other one. Okay, the other mm -hmm. one's, or actually, no, no. Th this one we can do the bow out. The other one we're not going to, we're not going to do the three because, eighths. Because this one's actually going to hit the other side of the back, so or the other side of the sectional, yeah. and uh, that should shouldn't need a bow out. It'll be fine. Well, we could do or one. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right, so we're going to do one on that one, but yeah. not on this one, on the other one. Yeah. And then we're going to do one on the top and the side. So it's the exact same thing that we did with the T. This is just a longer T, as it were. That's all it is. So we're going to do that, and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay? All right. All right. So let's get started on that. Okay, as we said earlier, this next one's a little more complicated because, as I showed you before, the, the last one we just cut, that goes against the sofa like this. Right. And this one goes up against it. So we're going to have to back this one off a little bit. But the, our, thickness the thickness of the of, other cushion. Right. So the, this is the tracing of the um, actual frame itself right. of one of the sofas, of course. And um, we need to back it off. Right. As you said. And also, we're only going to back it off a certain amount because the right. thickness of the other cushion or the band of the other cushion is seven inches. Seven inches. But we don't want to make it perfect because nothing is perfect in this world. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back only six inches. So it gives about an inch mm -hmm. of compression uh, yeah. against the two. Yeah. So just in case it doesn't meet up perfectly, if we cut it at seven. Yeah. So hopefully that, that makes sense. Back it off at seven. You get the yeah. idea. You get the concept. We're not so, going to make it, you know, larger or just exact amount. We're going to make it larger, rather. Right. Okay. Now, another another thing, if you're just trying to get rid of your attached back cushions and you want to make them into removable ones, we'll keep on following this. But the reason why we have these is because it's a sectional. You might just be doing this for a chair. Right. All you got to do is move on to take that pattern and go to your top fabric and cut it out exactly the way that pattern is. Don't he, add anything to it. Right. Even a sofa would be simpler. This is... Yeah. This a sofa with two matching cushions. Right. I mean, the two uh, T cushions. Right. And like I said before, they shouldn't probably be fired, but you know they should have like time off with uh, or no pay. You it's, know? The, it, it's it's the actual um, designer. Not the technician. Not the the technician did a fine job. He did what he's right. supposed to. But the designer, 
should be doing the work himself because he realized how Architect, tough whatever you want to call it, it is to do what he designed. Right, it's ridiculous that they're so odd. And this is a big box store. This is. Okay, this isn't like, the, I know you've seen this place, so, but whatever. This isn't like a mom and pop trying to do it. You know, this, no. is, this is something that they should know how to do. Yeah, I could screw it up better than that. Right. right. I could too, even better than he can. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on. What we're going to do is we're gonna, we, we've got our straight line here. Right. Okay, we, we made it nice and clean. We cleaned it up. And we're going to go, I already made my mark, 20 and a half. 20 and a half, okay. right. We're going to do a half inch back here. Okay. Okay. But we're going to kick this corner back. This is where they butt together, the uh, cushions that is, mm -hmm. in the corner. We're going to bring this one back um, six inches, not seven inches, as Grant explained. But we're going to come back another half inch, okay? okay? So I hope this makes sense to you. So we would take the tape measure, go in the corner, and do five and a half. Five and a half. Right, because that will include... The sewing allowance. Right, so our finish would be six inches backed off. When it's sewn. Right, exactly. Right. So that's, we got five and a half right here. What we're going to do is we're going to go another half inch down. Mm -hmm. So we got five and a half from this side over here, and then an inch down from the bottom, or a half an inch down from the bottom for your seam allowance. And we're going to make a line right across there. Yeah, now we're going to come up here. Mm -hmm. Let's do this mark here. Let's. I've already made those marks, like I said, mm -hmm. from the bottom of the cushion. That would be 20 and a half. And a half. It's already marked. We're going to go way past it, okay? You can just hand it to me and I can do it. Oh, okay, you got it? No. Okay, here. All the way over. Okay, so now this represents the top of the cushion when it's sewn. Right. Okay, it'll come down a half inch. Because the reason why I wanted that is because, and I hope that camera can bring that, this in, is i got to make that go up here. Yep. Okay? So i gotta, I got to line this up. This is the actual tracing of the sofa line. I'm going right. to clean it up a little bit, okay? I like going past it. It's just easier for me. Right. Okay, so now we have 20 and a half up here. We got our half inch marks. Good job, Grant. Thank you. Right there. I'm line it. I'm up. Okay, I'm going to run past it a little bit. That's right. Okay, now this cushion ended here. If I may, real quick, let's cross this out. Yeah, please. Before we forget, Right, so now this is starting to become obsolete. Right. We don't want this anymore. No. Okay, so what we need to do is kick this back five and a half inches, so, which is close enough. Huh. There you go. Right. There. Okay, I say that because I can't get the tape measure right in the corner. You want to do that? Yep. All so right. we're going to line those up. So right about here. Yep. Put your finger down there, and I believe like that, right? Yep. All right. Let's go. That looks good. Got the uh, straight edge. Now, that, now, once again, that includes your half inch seam allowance. Boom. Half inch is included here. Good done. Thank That's it. Here, I'll huh? clean up just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to cut this line out because, as I because as I said, that includes a half inch seam allowance. Right. So let's go ahead and squiggle this line out. Yep. All that's going to be gone. And just for clarity's sake, let's just say cut here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut here. All right. We're gonna cut this here, and now we got this to deal with. So well, we can't forget too. We gotta do the uh, balloon or the uh, bend. Out. That's right. That's right. The bow. The bow. Excellent. Thanks for remembering. Now mm -hmm. we're going to move this over. This is the, this is where the cushion actually ended. So it's important when you made your pattern, well, as we did back at the client's house, that you made the marks when that seat cushion was sitting in where it does end. Okay. Okay. Right. So we're gonna line that up. Right there. Can you you got that? Yep. And pencils over there. There you go. Okay. All the way up. Yep. So this cushion's getting short. That is a short cushion. Yeah. Cushion narrow. <clears throat> okay. So we have that half inch. Now we've got to add our our three eighths. We're we're not going to add it to this one. I'm no. going to just leave it alone. Because we already have the crown of the existing cushion oh, that yeah. we're going to be pushing against. So we're just, we just have is the same effect of two balloons hitting each other. They won't really touch or uh, make good contact. No, that's a good analogy. Okay, so that is 26. It's close enough. All right, so we backed this one off. We added our half-inch seam allowance. Now we're going to get our center here, and we need one there where Grant just touched All with right. his right hand. It looked like. Let's go ahead and... So I got 29 here, so... Half of 29 is 24 and a half. And of course we have 20. Pencil. You got another pencil right there. 
We got 20 and a half right here, so that's 10. I think and I said 24 and a half. I meant 14 and a half. 14 and a half. You can always double check it by putting your tape back over there. And that's what right. I do with my sail. 14 and a half. I'm going to come up 3 eighths inch. 10 and a quarter. 3 eighths. And sometimes I've done the mistake myself. Uh, you can clean it up too. Uh, don't do a half inch, but if you do, it's not devastating. It's only an eighth of an inch, so don't worry about that. Shoot for three eighths, please. You know we don't run across this too often either. No. You know, having to reconstruct them, we, we've cut them off before in the past, but as we mentioned a moment ago, whoever made this, you know, whoever designed this sofa, they were huge. I've never seen sofas or. Uh, Whoever designed the sofa, the back cushions were huge. I think they were 10 inches thick. It was ridiculous. I mean, you know, hey, if, you, if they like it, they like it, whatever. And but the reason, it ain't easy to copy. Right. And the reason why it was so thick, too, is because it was a knife edge, so it didn't have a band. So it's easier to make those kind of like a pillow really thick. She didn't like it. Right. You know, the manufacturer loved it. They did. It's like a bed pillow. Yeah. Three-eighths. going to break your neck. Three-eighths. Yeah. And three-eighths. Nothing, nothing, half inch. Right. Well, we have something there. Yeah, we got a half inch, half inch, and an extra three eighths on these half inches. So that should be it. Good practices. Mark the amount and circle it as right. to what you, um, how many you need. And you can put a Z here for zipper. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious, but hey, you know, getting a good idea. It's a good, good idea to get in a good practice. Good habit. Good habit. You know. Yeah. All right. So we're going to cut, cut this, this out, out, and then we're going to move on to the top fabric. Yep. Alright, <laughs> All right. here we are. Yeah, so we've already laid out the fabric, obviously, yep. and we've got our template on top. But first, before you get started, you want to check your fabric for any imperfections, because this is the time to do so. If, <laughs> yeah, like a show, I show girl. Was, but okay. Yeah. You get the point. You get the idea. So you want to go ahead and um, check if you have any imperfections, and if you do, get around them. Avoid them. self explanatory. Uh, also what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting both sides out at once and we're going to show you how to do that. Yeah, now we railroaded this fabric, okay? So instead of, let me show you this real quick in case you don't know what railroad is. Railroad, here's your um, selvage right here. Uh -huh. so many people don't like the way I say that <laughs> and that's fine. I get it. I understand. I feel it. The selvage here goes up this direction. We were hippies once too. Oh yeah, man. I like that day. So this right here is going this direction, okay? We're going to be cutting from here. So basically the zip, the zipper would be here and the top would be there, okay? Mm -hmm. Or your zipper could be there and the top is here. Mm -hmm. That's cutting your fabric where you look at your furniture this direction, okay? Now so, up the bolt is the selvage here, the selvage there. And you're working like this. Thank you, Grant. It's like that, okay? So that, that's the way it works, okay? So to double, like fold it over on top of itself, don't do this. This is a this is a do not. Mm -hmm. Do not do this because that would be working like that, and your up will be flipped over. So right now, my, your up, the up of the bottom one is going towards you, and the up of the top one is going towards me. That's it's not right. Down, I think. Something so like that. it, it ain't gets gonna work out. But in any case, yeah. this is what you need to know. Flip it over <laughs> this way. Right. Exactly. Pull this down. Okay. So simple. So simple, man. You can do this. In fact, you're doing it. All right. Pull that over. Yep. All right. Just so get the wrinkles out, but yeah. not you, but you know we will. <laughs> and take this. Is this it? Yep. That's it. Okay. All the way. Turn it around. All right. Like that. Get the proper length. We'll okay. get the wrinkles we'll out. Get the later. wrinkles out. Now we only need one. Mm. Okay. So one cushion. Here's something to think about. If you only need one, you don't want to waste this fabric. Don't do that, okay? Because it's it's a good idea not to do that. And you get a larger one, okay? Do the larger one now. I don't know if this one's larger or not. Watch this, folks. It's so simple. All right, this one here is a little bit bigger right. than that one. So we're going okay. to move this thing over just it's a little bit more. Let's clean up real fast. Yeah. Okay. Move this down. All right. There we go. It's hard to run around on the other side of the table because mm -hmm. the camera equipment's there. So we gotta do it from one side here. Let me, let me let's like, like kind of flip it there and clean it up. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, exactly. Alright. So let's put this selvage. Selvage. I love it. 
so glad for the, you know, the clarity. Okay, now we got this here. This is a larger one. All right, and we're going to lay that one down first, take out the bottom one. Right, because you get it. I know you get it. If you did the short one here, you wasted that fabric. You might be able to find it somewhere else, like maybe a zip band bands or something like that. But do the larger one first, and then the smaller one will fall in suit don't or in don't. order. <laughs> Keep it simple. All right. All right, and then we're gonna put that one up now. One, one last thing, real quick, as we're you waste talking a little about bit this. there, but it's still better. Right. All you gotta do too is bring this to this edge, I believe, and bring this part right here, mm -hmm. the cut edge, as close as possible to the edge of your template, because then you waste as little fabric as possible. Right. So when you're excuse me, Greg, no, no when you're doing, um, when you're doing. Cut out on a slip cover. I don't think you can see this because that camera's not that great. Mm -mm. But cut in this order. Do your cushions. If you have a skirt, this one doesn't. Do your skirts, do your bands, and then your cording. Because the cording can be smaller pieces. All right. You don't want that. Get as long as you can on the bias. But do it in that order, and it, it helps out a lot. My father taught me that, and I learned the hard way when I didn't listen to him. So that works out. Right. So body first, right? Body, right. Well, yeah, of course, the body first, then you have your uh, cushions, cushions, skirts, skirt, bands, bands, and then cording. cording. If you have that, you may not even have uh, cording. cording. You may not even have skirts. Right. So you get it. Do the larger one first, do the smaller one underneath there, and that little piece, which I don't think you can see, we even have more fabric left over, then you can use uh, bands, zipper bands, uh, for that section underneath there. Save as much as you can. Take your time. Just plan it out methodically and just make sure everything's good and get as close as possible but not right on this cut because you're gonna have to cut that out so that's right amen so the thing is as well just copy this uh, template you've already got your half inch that's why I kind of like templates they take longer but this particular application you needed a template right. this is unusual all you gotta do is just cut it out okay so we're gonna cut it out we're gonna sew it up if you need to know how to sew it then go to the other slip cover Videos. Um, videos yeah. of how to sew some uh, slip cover or cushions, and uh, it, it'll, it'll lead you right along. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's it for now. We're going to get this thing sewn. We're not going to show you that in this video. Get some dinner. Yeah, big time. And then we are going to show you uh, us putting them in to the, the covers, most likely. Right. So we're going to have this all completed, all the uh, cushions sewn up, and we're going to get back to you as we're stuffing in the cushions and making them look nice. And then we'll you'll see the finished product at her house. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so until the next time that we get back to you, uh, thank you for watching, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you then.